Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall. I'm an information specialist based here at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. This is a very short series of videos called App Hacks. The purpose of the videos is primarily to support, support students in a medical and health research setting. Uh, many of the apps are specific to, to, to that uh, particular type of uh, study. But some of them are uh, more generic. This is one of the more generic ones. Uh, this is an app called Hootsuite. So for anyone watching who uses Twitter, this is quite an essential app to have on your or mobile device. It is free for iOS and for Android. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill down a little bit and show you how it works. So this is what Hootsuite looks like when we actually use it. I've got a very simplified uh, selection of searches. And I've got two accounts here. So this is, this is a good thing about Hootsuite. Like Twitter, you can switch between accounts and tweet from multiple accounts. Uh, but Hootsuite is very good because um, when you're at a conference or an event or on the go, then it's good to be able to kind of access and switch around without kind of too much confusion, which this allows. So here in the top left-hand corner, you can see um, I've got my home feed, which is all the tweets. If I scroll down, you can see all the tweets that I'm picking up through through uh, through my home feed, and um, you can see who's been tweeting from who I follow. And below you can see the mentions. If I click the mentions, you can see uh, all the people who are mentioning me or or um, I've got some kind of tweet in my direction. And then of course I can see my tweets. If I click my tweets, you can see uh, what I've been tweeting about. And I'm tweeting at this moment about the University of Sheffield's big walk uh, primarily, but I'm kind of um, tweeting about uh, anything that I would do via my Twitter account. It's just reflective of that. I'm also doing a search for a term altmetrics. If I click that, any kind of tweets from uh, in relation to altmetrics are also picked up. And I've also got the option to schedule posts. So this is very good. It's more kind of strategic for people who may be running um, uh, a, a, a surrogate post, a surrogate account where they perhaps don't monitor it all the time. I want to make sure there's a regular amount of tweets going out. And then below, I've got the Shah Heads account. I've got the credentials for that. If I click on there, I can quickly switch to what's being um, tweeted uh, through the accounts that Shah Heads follows. And I can also look at what uh, Shah Heads have been tweeting. So these are all things that Shah Heads have been retweeting or tweeting. So when I kind of want to change uh, my uh, uh, settings. I, if I go to a conference, let's say I go to a conference, I go to my, I'll go to my home account. I click um, edit, like so, and then I've got an option to add a stream. So if I click add stream, I will then go down along the bottom here. I've got all various things I can do: likes, retweets, etc. I can do keywords. I can do searches. So I'll click search, and I'll just search for example. Um, let me just think about something. Uh, let me see if the SILIP 2016 will bring anything. That's a that's SILIP 16, that's a conference that's coming up. So I'll click save. I'll select which account, so my account. It will sync, and then hopefully, once I've clicked done in the top left-hand corner, and click SILIP 16, we can see the first few tweets appearing uh, for a forthcoming conference. So I, if I'm at a conference, I can follow all the tweets from that one stream and not have to kind of look at it in amongst all my tweets. And I can just, and, and once that conference has been and gone and the tweets have stopped happening, I can then go into the edit in the top left hand corner, wait for it to sync, hit that little red minus button, hit delete, and that will then go. And if I do done again, then that's then that's gone again. If I want to tweet, I can tweet as normal. So again, I will hit this little pen in the bottom here. And it wants to know which social network. So this is wanting to know which account. So if I do the little pull down arrow, I can select mine. I can select both. So I could select from two accounts and multiple tweet. So I'll just select mine. And then if I go into the compose option, I can uh, go in and, and type uh, a tweet. If I if I so wish, and I can also then um, select uh, when I want to send it in the top right hand corner, like so. Um, if I click send now, I can auto schedule it. I can put a custom time in. So if I select custom time, I could tweet that say uh, Monday and tweet it at 9:40 in the morning, like so. And uh, then that is 
then that's ready to sort of go. So I can I can do that quite quite simply, like so. So I just I scheduled it now for nine forty. I've got the option to type the message in. So I will just put in a message. Another day in paradise. Let's say, and then when I when I finished, if I hit the top right hand corner there, which it looks like a little kind of paper arrow, that will then schedule that tweet to appear um, at that time on Monday morning. I will discard that because I don't want it. So there's lots of things I can do. You can do keyword searches. You can do you know hashtag searches. Um, you can say drill down. Like you can even read your your messages, your your direct messages, etc., and skip between. So it's a good way to use Twitter um, on your uh, device. And also, if I just do the little kind of uh, magnifying glass there, I can search for uh, trending tweets in the top left hand corner. I can search for nearby tweets. I can search for recent tweets. I can search for specific users. So let's go nearby. If I click nearby, and if I put within one. Uh, Kilometer of where I am, providing that I've got my GPS uh, turned on for for, for two three. If I do within one kilometer, I now get tweets here, which are all coming in from the local area. And we can see one here, which was a story this morning uh, that there's been a statue made for the women of steel um, f uh, in honor of the 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 ladies who uh, worked in the steel works. And you can see this tweet here. And here's one of these ladies uh, who worked in the steel works. Uh, during the Second World War, when many of the uh, the men went off to fight, so this is a, this is working because I know it's picking up a tweet that is nearby uh, because I know that this is a story within Sheffield and it is just down the road from me. So um, so again, it's another potential function of using it. And again, you can save these and they will then go into your kind of stream. So hopefully that's useful uh, and a better way to get more use out of your uh, Twitter account.